What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation. How are you doing? Have fun wherever you are. Um, I want to share with us another thing that concerns us all. And many of us at one time has been victim of this. And uh, today we are no longer victims. We have been set free. Why also many of our people are still victims of that every week or uh, maybe a couple of days or three days, some of them even five days a week, they are gathering as victims for this, <laughs> gathering for thanksgiving, gathering for prayer, thanking a God that, have not show, that, that did not show up when they achieved that success, but they said, He's responsible for their sources. So they gather to give that God thanks or to pray. In fact, they invite their well wishers, family and friends, to come and join them in thanking this God. And in that thanksgiving, this God never stand up and say, Okay, my children or my people, I appreciate, you know, your you are, you are, you are thankfulness. You know, I will bless you more. No, they are the one that initiated it. That the one that also carried it out, and that the one that concluded, this that the one that worked to make that thing successful. They say it is God. Then they gather to give thanks to God. Then after that, they said, "Yes, God have had them. God have answered them." Guess what? They still go back, hustling, struggling to make it more. Mm. <laughs> it's like when you hear African Americans saying they are blessed. You know, they say, good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm blessed, I'm blessed. No, you're not. You are a slave, you are not blessed. <laughs> you don't have your own land, you are not blessed. You are a slave in Africa. I mean, in, in, everywhere you are a slave in Africa, you are a slave in America, you are a slave in Europe, you are a slave everywhere you are found as a black person. So you are not blessed. That's why they treat you like shit. That's why they can shoot you, they can do anything and still go to the court and get away with it. That God you worship cannot do that. So I title this, walk and pray not. Walk and don't pray. There is no good reason you can give me to justify that prayer works. It's, it only give you false relief, false hope. You are the one that insisted, no, it works, prayer works, you know, I pray, 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 let this thing happen, no. Or something happens, say, oh, I've been praying for this, I've been praying that this day will come. <laughs> of course, whether you pray or not, that day will come, somebody that traveled will come back someday, it must happen. If that person is still alive, that person is not dead, of course, things will be happening, but know that it is people that make things happen. It is not any spiritual being. That's why I have issue with all these people who are, who are saying they reject religion but embrace African spirituality. It's the same nonsense. You say, okay, you don't want to be a farmer in America, but you are a farmer in Africa. It's the same nonsense. You are still doing farming. Land is land. Make believe, I mean, make believe is make believe. Or belief system is belief system. It can never substitute fact. But many have done that. They say they, they believe. Some of them say they are praying to their ancestors. Have you seen? I mean, have you seen these ancestors you praying to come and do anything for you? No, you are still the one that does that. You say you going for spiritual something, but it's a fellow human being who are doing that work. There's no. You didn't go there and see spirit walking. No, it's your fellow human being that is telling you do this, remove your shoes, sit down, bring this, bring that. You gotta, it's your fellow human being that is doing all that, controlling you because you are desperate, because you are in need, and, uh, and especially because you are ignorant. When you know yourself, you will know that when you are in need, you or your fellow human being are the one that will solve that problem, not any God not any ancestor. Whether you are praying to Jehovah, Allah, or Yahweh, or to your ancestors, they are the same bullshit. Prayer is a form of begging. Prayer shows you don't know what to do. Prayer means, oh, I don't know what to do. Let me just pray and believe. Let me just pray and hope something will change, something will happen. You are praying out of ignorance. That's why you are praying. 
Somebody asked me, who are you praying to? I say, oh, I don't have any need to pray. Pray for what? If I want to pray, I pray to my fellow human being. Like if I want to have sex with a woman, I pray to her. Please allow me, let us have sex. I pray to the woman. The same thing the woman have, want to have sex with me, she can pray to me. Okay, she, we have sex. It's an agreement. That's how it's supposed to be. And you want, you want money, you want whatever it is you, you, you say you need in life. If you don't have it, who do you go to? You go to your fellow human beings. But you have been trained that, oh, you pray first before you go. When you pray, it will work out. You know it's a lie. You have been praying. Some of you have prayed many times to go looking for a job, yet you have not landed any job. Some of you have prayed to go find a husband or find a wife, yet you have not found. It's, not, it's, a, it's a simple thing you can do. When you do the right thing you're supposed to do, it will work out. But if you are struggling or, you know, going through stress to make it work, just as you do when you pray or that, it means something is wrong. And what is wrong there is you are ignorant of that. But when you know what you are doing, you will go ahead and do it without stress. So, walk and pray not, because prayer is useless. They told you that faith without works is dead. The same applies to whatever you are doing with God. God without works is dead. Prayer without works is dead. So if work is the thing that, that can give all these things life and power, then why are you wasting your time praying? Just walk. Work don't need anyone to keep, him, keep it alive or does keep it working. You walk, you sow, you reap. They, they, they tell you in, in all labor, there is profit. In every labor, there is profit, and that's why so you get upset when you work and you are not, you are, you are, and you are not paid. You, you're not happy because you're supposed to get paid. It's a natural order. You work, you get paid. You sow, you reap. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm not even talking about the size now or not, how much they're supposed to pay you, but I said when you work, you're supposed to get results. You were supposed to get paid. So when you don't get it, you don't settle down and say, okay, it is God's will for them not to pay me. No, because you work for it, you must get it. And that's the attitude you're supposed to apply to anything you are doing in the name of God. They tell you if you give, God will give to you. Then you have been given. God has not given you anything. You are still working. If your tithes and offering works, you won't be working today. You won't be working under anyone. Because God will bless you so much. Give you abundance as they said. He said you will not have a room to contain it. So there is no need for you to go and beg anyone. To work under anyone. So you have to walk and pray not. Because it is your work that works. I like the way one of our sisters said that. He said, walk is the only prayer that nature answers. Of course. No matter where you are, whether you are living in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America, if you walk, you will see the result. You say you don't want anyone to be your boss. Of course you can. There is land. Go and cultivate the land, sow something. You will reap. You become the boss of your own. You can come up with ideas and bring it into reality. You become the boss of your own. But remember, it is us that are doing all those things. There is no God doing that. So no God deserves your worship. No God deserves your praise. No God deserves your fear. No God deserves your faith. If there is anyone that deserves all that, then it is you and your fellow human beings. We are the ones that make things happen. I've been saying that. Spirituality costs Africans their land. They started with knowledge. Then they begin to give in to spirituality. Spirituality, what I die, I want to immortalize my name. I want to do this. I want to do that. Then, boom, they lost their land to people who came and forced them to embrace their own spirituality, which is called religion. Of course, religion is Western spirituality. African spirituality is African religion. You cannot separate them, no matter how you say It's the same shit, but in different toilets. It is all make-believe. And make-believe is what it is. It is not science. It is not knowledge. It is not wisdom. It is make-believe. Somebody made it up, then you believe it. But you also can make yours up. So why are you following other people's make-believe when you can also make it up your own? 
that's what it is why are you going to beg others who are working to give you food when you can walk and have your own food without begging them oh i remember when i came to america newly that's why i say now nah, how can you be in america and you don't have your own car when you know that people that give you ride will be insulting you i remember one time i came back from work this guy is the same we are from the same village he, he used to give me ride that time i have not been up to one year in america that time so one time uh, he came to pick me up he said oh yesterday he saw a plaster we call it plaster back home but america call it band-aid so he saw it you know that was what i uh, you know that dropped from my shoe it was under the sole of my shoe i didn't know i have i have no idea of that but if you see how this guy talked to me because of that i said well, <laughs> I, I I couldn't wait. It was not even up to six months. Boom! I went. I, I I bought my own car because I hate somebody insulting me for what I know. I am more than or what I know I can get. So if somebody make up a belief and give it to you that today you believe you hold that belief dearly to your life, what make that person better than you? That person doesn't have two heads. You can also trash that make-believe, especially when it's not working for you. Look at your life, look at your family, and tell me that your make-believe, that belief system you uphold that was passed down or forced on you is working. Look at your life right now in Africa or wherever you live, you are living, and tell me it's working for you. If not, that you are delusional. It's not working for you. That's why you go to work. Work is what working for you, not any god, not any any invisible being, not any ancestor. No, the ancestors you're talking about are not hanging up in the sky or anywhere, waiting for you to do anything. No, the ancestors you're talking about is are really in you. You are one. You are one with them by blood. They are not existing somewhere else. Yeah, that's make believe. If, if you believe your ancestor is somewhere, you are praying to them. They are doing it. Okay, that's you. But you are deceiving yourself because after all that prayer, you still have to go and walk. So stop deceiving yourself. Stop deluding yourself. Trash all that illusion, delusion, and hallucination, and embrace science. Embrace knowledge. The reason why I'm sitting where I'm sitting is not science. The reason why I can communicate like this is science. You see how everybody going to social media is science. It has nothing to do with spirituality or religion. If it were religion, you will not find many people there because the religion will say, no, if you don't do this, you know, no, no, you, it's science. So you cannot say, if you have what it takes, you just join it and you can begin to create your own thing. You can go in your church or in your religion or in your mosque and begin to make up your own thing. They will throw you away. They will throw you out of that their circle. They, for you to remain there, you have to abide by their rules and regulations. But if you say, no, we are free, you are not free. There's no religious person that is free, regardless of your religion. Because you have to wake up and pray when you're not supposed to pray. Do what you're not supposed to do, when, you know, whether you like it or not. Just as, as they wake you up when you want to have good sleep. Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. And if you don't do that, God will get angry. God will punish you. Fuck that God. God cannot punish anyone. It is human beings that do all that. Who can arrest you? Your fellow human being. Who can kill you? Your fellow human being. There's no God that is doing anything. There's no God that is killing anyone. So for those of you that are still afraid, oh, I, I, I pray. I don't want God's anger. I want to please God. Which God are you pleasing? If that God exists, you won't be praying. The reason why you pray is because there is no God. But people deceive you that there is. And if you don't believe, they call you atheist, they call you devil, they call you antichrist, they call you anti whatever, because they are ignorant. And those people that are teaching you about God, also they are ignorant of God. No one has seen that God that teaching you. They just they taught me that I grew up in that mess. I grew up holding that, preaching that, fighting for that. But that thing is anti humanity. It's anti nature. But science, that, that science simply means knowledge. What you know. What you can experience and others can experience it, it is for all. You see this, this, the sun in the night, you see the moon, you see the trees, you see, you, see the, you see the animals, you see your fellow human beings. These things make things happen, but no God can make anything happen. It is us and the nature. Humanity and nature make things happen. And we, we are one, we communicate with each other. In other words, we bless each other. 
we're not supposed to cause. It's make believe that bring in cause. Make believe that brings in evil. Because when you begin to believe, you are no longer reasoning. You are no longer using your brain to think. You are now hating yourself, hating your 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 your, 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 your retain, your real person. Because you want to believe, you want to believe all things are possible by with God. With God, you have not seen or can see. So remember, they force you to believe in that religion, whether it's Christianity, Islam, or Judaism, especially we Africans, they force us to embrace them, know the history behind them, know their origin. In fact, every religion originated in Africa, just as every civilization originated in Africa. But today, see Africans, the same thing that, they, they were, that were copied from them are being used to enslave them especially mentally. You see Africans spending much time praying for something to happen. Why other race are using science knowledge to make things happen? Look around you. Who, who, who is building what? It is not any God. It is not any invisible spirit. It is people who are building all that. Manufacturers, inventors, inventing things. Okay, look at this park. I used to come here, run around, but somebody, uh, uh, people that manage the park, they decided, they see that some people always come here around. They begin to build track. And you see people now walking on that track. They haven't finished it, but people are walking it because people see development, see how they are building things. They put on that building. It was not there before. The, the people make things happen. But in Africa, you see them, they convert playground. Where people are supposed to come and play like park. They convert it either into business place or school. or school, or, Because they don't value that. What they think, oh, go to school and make money, make money, marry, and, and have children, then you die. Living as consumers and not as builders that our ancestors were. Our ancestors were great builders. They built the great pyramids. They built the great things. Till today, no technology, no one has found out how our ancestors built it. Do you know why? Because the evil people kill out our ancestors. Burn down the, the great library of Alexandra. Because that's where you have the knowledge of all the things of this world. But they destroy it. Then see how everyone is confused today. See how everyone is suffering unnecessary today. No condition is permanent. It is time we walk and stop praying. Prayer is form of begging. And also is a complete waste of your time and energy. Why are you wasting your time in prayer when you can walk? You want something, you have to walk. When you walk, you get it. If you walk, no devil, no God can stop you from getting paid. And if they say they will not pay you, then you have a case and they will pay you more. Understand that, that it, it is we, people, that walks. Even animals walk. Everything walks. So what, t tell me, you that say you believe in prayer or prayer works, tell me what prayer can do for you, nothing. Prayer cannot put money in your pocket. Prayer cannot put money in your bank account. Prayer cannot put food on your table. Prayer cannot give you a child or children. Prayer cannot give you husband or wife. Prayer cannot give you anything, but you can get that thing you want or need because you have the mind of your own and you have the strength to do that. God gives no one knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. God gives no one strength. No. That's why when you get tired, you rest to re regain strength. It's natural. You have that strength, it's there, it's infinite, but you can be exhausted because you walk, then you rest and gain strength again and continue. You walk and rest, not walk and pray. So when you walk and rest, you get re rejuvenated or uh, energized to walk more. You continue walking. So, but uh, prayer, there is nothing prayer does. You see those people that say they believe prayer works. They end up in the hospital because prayer does not work. You, you, are, you are a man. Let's say you are having erectile dysfunction. You are, there's no amount of prayer that can give you that erection. No, but drug can. That's why they made what Viagra. Prayer is show you that those drugs you see uh, uh, show you that prayer does not work. God cannot do anything. Man can. So when they put it in their boots, say with God all things are possible, it's a lie. 
is with men all things are possible see how coronavirus is killing people still killing people yet people that have belief um, belief system that one that is saying no coronavirus is, is not true it's made up it's pandemic it is not a uh, that's bullshit so whether it's made up or not the defect is there to show you and you that say you don't believe it is then go to the where whatever they quarantine coronavirus people and begin to lay hands on them and you will die like that Cameroonian pastor that just died for laying hands on the corona patient understand that you are going to that your religious center just to delude yourself to support your illusion. Oh, I believe this is true. It must be true. So I will continue. Yeah, you are the one that is making it true. Without you, it's not true. That religion, that holy book, that God, you are the one that giving them life and the power. Without you, they are useless in reality. Stop letting anyone delude you anymore. Because your parents believe it doesn't mean it's true. See, some of you were born in your village by your parents. You are no longer living in your village because it was un un unconducive for you. Then you have to relocate. You have to migrate either to abroad or to cities. For what? To look for greener pasture, as you say. So why not remain in that same place your parents gave back to you? You move because you have the mind of your own. So why can't you apply the same thing with the belief system your parents passed down to you? after you went abroad or, or to city and make money then you go back to village you call all your family members and friends say you are going for thanksgiving no and when you tell them no stop praying work it is work they say no we have been praying for you to make it that's why you made it in abroad some people went abroad they did not succeed also there are people that did not travel to abroad yet yeah, they did not make it in your village they die also let us stop deceiving ourselves with make-believe. If it is make-believe, don't you think or don't you want to know that you can also make-believe your own? Why are you dying for what somebody else made up when you have the mind of your own to make up your own? If you have ability to make your own cell phone, will you be working to make money to go and buy another person's cell phone? Think. The reason why you buy things that you don't have is because you don't know how to make them. But if you know how to make them, you will go and make them. The another reason you may not make them is maybe you are sick. Then somebody that is not sick made them, but you already have money, you go and buy it from them. But understand that what you call religion, what you call God, what you call prayer, all that thing is made up. Men made that thing up. To, for control it is not for your own good and that's why they love you africans to keep praying you say you want to go for pilgrimage they will support you they don't they don't have problem with that they want you to be preaching god preaching jesus preaching allah preaching Muhammad, preaching all that jehovah yehushua they gave to us but the moment you begin to think for yourself they say no you they're gonna take you down because it's when you think for yourself you begin to fight for your freedom Africans, black people remain slaves today in the world because of spirituality and religion. We have to trust spirituality and religion and embrace science, begin to think for ourselves, begin to build things for ourselves. It is time we do what our ancestors did before spirituality and religion. They began to build cities for themselves. They began to build towers for themselves. They began to make names for themselves. We can do that again and better, even greater, because no condition is permanent. It is the wish of our ancestors that we, their descendants, be better and greater than them. It is not competition. It is not maybe um, disrespecting your ancestors. No, they will love that. Just as I said, if there is God, God will be happy for somebody like me. Because God knows I am saying the fact. It's fact. If you cannot see it and you tell me it is almighty, you are lying. If it is almighty, you don't need to tell me about it. It will show itself to me or himself to me. So wake up, my people. 
walk and pray not you don't need to pray whether you pray some people pray before when they wake up they pray when they go out they pray when they come in they pray before they all that nonsense it is just wasting your time spend that time to think spend that time to do some research spend that time to read something outside your belief system outside that your belief box system is a box and when you find yourself in that box you have the choice either to remain in that box or to, or to break out i made that choice i break out of that box i'm no longer a christian i am no longer a preacher of the gospel i am human i see my fellow human beings just as i see myself i don't need any law or commandment to teach me to show care to my fellow human being i treat them as i treat myself i see them and, and i don't even say i expect them to treat me the same way if they don't treat me the same way then i treat them the same way they treat me I don't practice forgiveness. I practice fairness, equity, and justice. And that's what we are supposed to do. We, sup we need humanity and the nature, not spirituality and religion. Let us wake up. Spirituality and religion will keep us divided. And a divided people can never achieve anything they want to achieve. That's why you see all this movement coming up, bringing more confusion, because they, are, they still have religious or spiritual spirituality undertone in them. Remove spirituality, remove religion. You see how achieving our freedom will be so smooth. We can do that, and we will. Peace.